Hon p e t r i s h i c h o l a s h a i President of the National Legislative Assembly or NLA, said the recruitment of 30 additional lawmakers was not meant to open doors for retiring military officers, but rather to allow the legislature to work more effectively. Following the amendment of the 2014 interim constitution that would allow the Legislative Assembly to recruit 30 additional members, the NLA president said the true intention was to enhance the effectiveness of the NLA's work, which is considered a time consuming process, such as the drafting of 10 organic acts to be enforced alongside the permanent constitution. The revision will bring the total number of NLA members to 250. He asserted that the move was not meant to allow military officers retiring this year to enter politics. He admitted, however, that some of the new recruits would come from the army. He disclosed that all of the new members will be handpicked by the National Council for Peace and Order, or NCPO, expressing his belief that all candidates will be treated with utmost discretion by the NCPO. In a related matter, The NLA president has scheduled sittings at the beginning of September to deliberate a number of urgent agendas. Mr. Ponpit has issued an order calling for a sitting of members of the legislature on Thursday, September 1, during which a draft amendment of the Interest Rate Control Act and the draft amendment of the Act to maintain cleanliness and good order of the country. The NLA will also hear the progress of the cabinet's operations. In accordance with the observations by the special committee in charge of the Bankruptcy Act and its work related to the city planning and space utilization, as suggested by the responsible committee. Another agenda is the review of the st- second statue on national health system. The NLA will also convene a session on Friday, September 2, to review the 2015 operations report of the Thai Public Broadcasting Service.